Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show a comparison of Google Keep, OneNote, and Zoho Notebook as bookmarking tools. I've been doing side by side by side comparison of the three all month long. I just want to show you kind of how the three of them work and, and what I like about each one of them right now. So I've been using Google Keep the longest. I've been using Google Keep for a few years now to do all my bookmarking. But recently, I wanted to try some some other options. So, let's say I'm I'm on Larry Falazzo's website and I find an interesting resource that I want to save for later. Uh, so this one here, eStory, which is a neat little timeline tool, by the way. Now, if I use the save to keep function, all I can do here is I can take a note about this. I can put in a little note and I'll often write a little note something like found on Larry's website. And I can apply a label to it for organization in my Google Keep homepage. But to be honest with you, I very rarely re remember to do that. So I just save it as is and call it good. Now the draw and that that works fine but the drawback to it is that for me sometimes I forget why I bookmarked the site or I want a quick reference to what the site was about because maybe my bookmark and my note don't tell me enough so that's where I, I like OneNote I clip it to OneNote using the Chrome extension I have it set to automatically capture the full page and I can see now Right. It's a timeline site. That's a great reminder for me. I'll clip it, add it to my notebook. On a similar note, Zoho's Web Clipper will let me clip the web page, take a screenshot of it, and clip that page. I can also add my little text note to it. Neat timeline tool. Found it through Larry's blog. So those are the three tools I'm using right now, comparing side by side. If I had to choose one of the three right now to use for the rest of my life, I would probably choose OneNote at this point just because I like that little function of loading and saving the full page. Now you can see here on some pages it takes a little bit longer than others. So if I wanted to just do a bookmark, I could just clip a bookmark and have that link and a little note about it as well. I can still add my little note found on Larry's blog. Clip it and I'm good to go. So let me know which is your favorite tool for bookmarking your own resources and which one do you recommend to students as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.